I promise you guys that extra extra sh Let me let y'all in on something for real. This right here. What's good? What's great? It's your girl, J Queen, and I am back to y'all with another video. So, go ahead, like, subscribe, and holla at your girl. Like, And, of course, hit that little bell so you can know when I'm dropping some new, new fire, okay? So, today, we're going to get into that extra, extra shh again. Now, of course, I always come to y'all with all the ease. And by now, y'all know what those are. So, we about to hit it with that extra, extra shh. So, let me go ahead and drop a gem for you guys. Now, just a disclaimer, you know, when it comes to everything medically, this is just me giving you information. Always consult with your doctor and always, always know thyself and know your own body. So, I'm about to drop y'all with something that I want y'all to look into. Ballerina tea. Okay, so I've seen a lot of the fad teas that had that little shine and they'll drop for a minute. I've seen all that. Now, let me tell you this. This is a temporary tea. So, when I would actually eat some of the wrong things or when I actually know I needed a colon cleanse real quick, when I knew that I actually wanted to lose a couple pounds or lose some water weight real fast this was the tea that i used now there is a regular ballerina tea that comes in a green box you can find it at some of your local stores and i will drop some of those stores locally and help you find them but you can also purchase this on amazon i personally switched to the herbal tea because it is lighter on the stomach and then because i'm all about herbs as well so let me give you a little bit of information. I'm going to drop my pictures and show you some before pictures and some afters. But you can also drop me some questions. Now, how do you work with this tea? Okay, so this tea here, you guys, you actually get you some water. You boil it. You make it like a regular tea, okay? And so once you do that, you steep it. You steep your tea. And... I personally wait till it cools down just a little bit. This tea to me is very bitter. Um, it doesn't have the very best taste. So I use all natural honey after it's cooled down so it gives it such a sweet taste that I can not taste the, the regular taste of it, um, so to speak. So that is my recommendation for getting across the flavor. Another recommendation as well, I would actually drink my tea at bedtime, okay? I drank my tea at bedtime because that way if you're going to work the next day, um, that way if you have to be the work during that time, now if you're an overnight worker, whole different situation. But I'm saying this for the fact that I would drink it at bedtime and if I had done too much, I might wake up in the middle of the night and actually go use the restroom. But for the most part, um, when I woke up the next morning, I would have a bowel movement, use the restroom. And most likely, this will be done by probably noon for you to actually consume lunch. Now, this also really depends on your diet, you guys. I eat fairly clean, which I'm going to talk to you guys about in another video. So stay tuned for that. I eat fairly clean. So when I say I'm flushing out my system, I don't have a bunch of toxins and things to flush out. But... If you drink this, I say do not consume it every day for more than a week, you guys. Do not go over that. And if so, stop it and then come back to it. Um, if you've been losing weight and you're on a plateau, this is also that's something very good. The first time I started losing weight and I got to a plateau, I pulled out my handy-dandy ballerina tea. Um, so when I actually did that, like I said, I drank it nightly for three nights for me. I never went over that. I don't think it's any reason that you should have to unless, once again, you're just somebody that eats fairly unhealthy or if um, you do this every other day, for example, you don't have to do it daily. So this actually has a product called Santa in it, okay? What that also means is that this is a laxative. So do not expect to not go to the bathroom when you drink this. Don't nobody go in the bathroom for about 35, 45 minutes. 
Somebody open the window. Yes. I got this, this whole box, and it has 18 tea bags in it. I got it on Amazon for like $5. Honestly, you can get the regular one out the store for two. Um, but at the time, it was very hard. I think everybody went into craze and they started getting it. And so it became to the point where everybody was getting it and it was hard to actually get. Um, I've gotten them off eBay before. I've gotten them off Amazon. I've gotten them out of local stores. I haven't seen where Walmart sells them as much as they used to. So you might have to be careful about that. With any product, you have to be careful about the packaging that it comes in. Let me show y'all how it actually looks. They always have a box and they have a package in it. Their teas come in these singular white packages, you guys. So I want y'all to look at that because there have been people, just like with anything, that actually sell a generic product or try to sell a fake product and it doesn't work the same. I've seen some people say in a review that they knew they got a dupe because it didn't work the way that the one did previously. Um, and also applied yourself. I know a lot of people have a lot of criticism when they say, oh, it's just water weight. Water weight is definitely a start, you guys. And you lint liquor. Um, and sometimes people need that extra little bit of motivation just to get started on the journey, just to keep pushing, um, to get over that little rump, to get over that little hill. If you have any questions about this, please, please contact me. Drop something in the comments. I do not mind sharing my experience. I still use this very often. Um, I haven't used it in the last couple months, but it's still something that is a staple to me. I don't find anything wrong with it. But once again, make sure if you're not a tea drinker, make sure you have some kind of sweetener. Um, also, and if you have any underlying condition, make sure you do consult with your doctor. So that was just a little quick tip I wanted to give you guys. Um, so that's it. That's lit. And as always, holla at your girl. Drop me something down below.